Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows 7 build 6936. Now this build of Windows 7 is actually one of the ones that I saw before it got totally redesigned with the new taskbar. Although I believe through using Blue Pill or whatever it's called, you can get the new taskbar, it's just not mainstream. So I'm really interested to take a look at this. The development history of Windows 7 has actually went pretty smooth. Um, there weren't any real bumps like there were with Windows Longhorn or Windows Vista, but it's still pretty interesting. So taking a look at the build itself, we can take a look on betawiki.net. We can see this was compiled on October 23rd of 2008. It has a broken time bomb apparently, um, which we're going to actually try that out and see what's, uh, see if that's true or not. Oh, if it's not installed in the current date. Okay, so we are going to actually set the time bomb. But let's just get started. Let's see what we can get into here. So again, time bomb, first thing. I wanna be able to take a full look at Windows 7. Um, but of course I missed it, so we're gonna to have to reset it again. Um, but naturally, we want to get the full look of Windows 7 build 6936. You know, if it would let me actually boot into the boot menu. We're also going to disable the network adapter, just so when it does boot into the OS, it's not going to, you know, completely break it. And we're going to set this to 10-24-2008, just a day after its compile date. F10 and enter. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the installation of Windows 7, build 6936. Alright, let's go through this Windows 7 installer. We can see it is identified as Windows 7 instead of like Windows Vista build, whatever. Um, Windows 7 operating system beta. Next, custom, and the unallocated space. So again, like we see today, this really hasn't changed. This is pretty much identical to what we see even with Windows 11, this setup, which is kind of sad. I wish they would change it. So the install went through smoothly, but okay, there we go. For some reason, the display just went off. I got a little worried that we were gonna get frozen, but okay, setup is starting services. So we're making progress. One thing that I do really like, I like this background. I know Microsoft went to that other blue thing with the green flower things. I like this one a lot. It reminds me like under the ocean, which I think that's actually what this is designed to be like. All right, so I think I figured out our problem here. It's not recommended to install this build on a disk controller other than LSI Logic um, because it will hang in the seconds part of the setup as we just saw. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this VM and we're going to try it over again. I'm not really sure why I didn't see that. All right, so it looks like I have to edit the VMX file. Again, never done this before ever. So it's scuzzy something I have the oh, virtual dev needs to be changed to that LSI logic save it close it we have to change the bio state again and then all right so after changing the scuzzy controller type we are now here in the Windows 7 ultimate setup so I don't have a product key but it actually just let us skip it okay cool and that was easy. So it actually started to get hung in the completing the installation section, but luckily I was able to, it, it actually went through. So the first thing I wanna try is actually, will VMware tools install? I mean, I'm not really sure if I have the right version of VMware tools in the, no. Okay, so let's try Windows Vista VMware tools. Nope, so it looks like VMware tools just doesn't work at all. So I'm just going to do a free stretch, and that looks really bad. Can we change the resolution at all for our review? I mean, it's a little better, but it's still really laggy. Um, so we're going to have to deal with it for a little bit. But this is Windows 7 build 6936. Now, because this came after Windows Vista, there's obviously arrow. It's just we can't get it enabled for right now. Um, but this is one of the first instances where we actually get to see the beta fish. Um, which is really interesting because this was seen a lot more in the Windows 8 builds than it was here. Um, moving around, recycle bin, boring, send feedback was something that we've seen all the way back to I believe like Windows 2000. It might have even been in 95, I can't remember. 
but you get to tell Microsoft about your experience with Windows. So you can be like, hey, this isn't working, or hey, I really like this desktop background, or you know, kind of give them feedback, kind of like the feedback hub today. So going down to where we're getting all the notifications, which is the bottom right, we can see that we have our show desktop button, uh, the clock area, the volume mixer, the network button, the action center, and standard stuff, which the action center told us set up Windows Update and find an antivirus. So back when the day when Windows didn't actually come with Windows Defender built in, it was like, you need an antivirus to stay safe. Going down to the glowing orb, of course, we can see our start menu, which looks a lot like Windows Vista, which PowerShell, was PowerShell a new thing? I really can't remember. Um, and for some reason, some of these are orange, which means they're freshly installed. Not really sure why. Um, desktop gadget gallery. Yep, there we go. We got our great gadgets back. Oh, I really miss these gadgets. These were fun to mess around with. Those were really fun to mess around with. I miss having these. No practical use. I just liked messing with them. So going through the installed apps, I mean, I, there's nothing really out of the ordinary here, I don't think. I mean, we have standard accessories, blah, 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 blah. Games should be... Oh, this is Windows 7 Ultimate, but we have games for some reason. Um, we can see that the ink ball got removed, which I'm really sad about. But we still do have games like Purple Place, which won't work because our graphics drivers are really bad. But it still ran. Look at that. I used to play this game so much. This game was like, this game was kind of my favorite when it wasn't lagging so bad. Moving on, we can take a look at the file explorer actually because I did notice that it was a little weird. So this looks a lot more like Windows 7, although we can see like some of the icons are different, libraries, blah, 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 blah. But when we get into something like the control panel, we can see this bar on the left side, which highly resembles Windows XP and Windows Vista, but I don't believe this was here in Windows 7. If you go into like appearance personalization, this just looks like a revamped Windows Vista one, um, which is really interesting to me at least. I do like the color scheme though, like this blue, green, something, something. I really like the color scheme that they picked here. Um, I do want to look at some of the backgrounds that are available in Windows 7. Again, they really did not change, like, yeah, when you look at 7 compared to Vista, a lot changed, but it was kind of like a gradual change. It wasn't all at once, like Windows 10 or Windows 7, or Windows 10 or Windows 11. Um, so they do have a bunch of arrow themes, which I wish some of these would have made it to the next, to the real Windows, like this one, I like this one. I'd like that one too, I don't recall that being in Windows 7 or Vista. But yeah, um, task manager, I do want to take a look at that as well. Alright, so yeah, um, I know this was a pretty short video, kind of a, kind of like just a little brief overview, but I mean, that's, that's really what this is. Windows 7 kind of gradually moved forward. It wasn't one big jump, it was kind of gradual. And again, here, the ribbon UI, that was new with Windows 7. We can see it in paint. We can kind of see it here. No, we can't. Uh, but Ribbon UI was a big thing um, that lived all the way until Windows 11, and it is still in Windows 11 for some reason. I'm not really sure why. We can see our painting skills with our great... Uh, with the great accelerated drivers. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And most of them aren't as boring as this. I know this was a little boring because, like, Windows 7, the history of the development wasn't that interesting. But with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.